there, YouTube subscribers. What we got today. Big old uh, 600 amp power supply regulated. Uh, let give you a little lowdown. We got amperage meter, voltage meter, dual breaker. One section's 300 amps, the next section's 600 amps. So it's dual staged. The Beast. Of course, that's the Beast one over there. That's the 900 amp. Now that's a uh, unregulated supply right there. Burning in some tubes for a customer. But uh, let's give you the low down. We got the load tester hooked to it. Now I can't, uh, it's only 500 amps. So I can't pull uh, but 500 on it. So uh, let's get on with the show. It's 300 amps. We're at 15 volts. On the 300 amp section. Well over 300. Let's turn that down for a second. It's going to whistle. They're good for that. Now, 600. Let's do this again. That's it. There's the smoke. Good old smoke coming out of it. I don't know if y'all can make that out in the video, but let that cool down for a second. But, uh, there goes whistling again. But, uh, turned out real good. Give me a minute. I'll, um, let's run this through. Show you what we got going on here. Voltage adjust. Go all the way down. A little bit lower than that. Need to go up. Cranks out at 17. Little, little, just hair over 17. that all the way off too so uh, let's let this cool down for a second <sighs> okay that's it I can't give it no more than that so but we're gonna draw down on it with some amplifiers all right, give me a second. We're going to um, flip this thing around, let you see the back side, unhook this noisy thing, and then give you a gander of the inside. We'll be back. All right, guys, back side. We've got an uh, exhaust fan that's blowing out, actually, to get any of uh, the uh, heat out of there. Big old connector there to save the cord. Your positive, your negative, double, double Teflons. That's on inside and out. Half inch uh, stainless steel, a brass nut. So, give me a second, we'll drop the phone, I'll show you the inside. Pretend on this rascal. Whoa, what do we got here? Stacked switchers. As you see the dual breakers down there. Lights go to each section. So we have five in this section, five in this section, five over there, five on the bottom. And it is expandable for about another 18 more units if I want to do that. All Teflon. No playing. All Teflon air grade or aircraft grade silver, real silver. Not that silver coated Teflon. This is actually real silver. Uh, cost a little bit more to get that versus the standard Teflon. But uh, you see the uh, 600 amp shunt. Exhaust fan. Got a, I don't know if you can tell down there, but I put a couple conditioning caps down in there. I don't like to lay out about 20 little teeny caps. We use two computer grade caps in there. They'll help uh, condition the voltage on the DC side coming out of here. Every supply has its own 
individual blocking capacitors. Also, the DCs have blocking capacitors on it also. Farad beaded power cords. I don't know if y'all can see any of this but uh, in the video, but uh, we've got farad beads on just about everything in here. The main has a farad bead on it. Um, matter of fact, what's funny is, is, let me see if I can find it. This farad bead that just showed up the other day. I hadn't had a chance to get it on it before the video. Let's see where I put it. Where I put it. I had one that there it is. Check this, check this bad boy out. That's to go around the uh, the cord. So I not only will I, each individual line has its own ferret beads. I don't know if you can see that down there. Let's see, where's my hand? Okay, each line has individual ferret beads on it. So, but uh, there you go, fellas. If this is something that you'd like to have built. All screws, no rivets, nothing like that. You know, we do everything. Let me put the phone down again. Up, plop the bottom. Oh, she's a little. She's not as heavy as my transformers, but she's got a little bit. And as you see, fully repairable if it ever has to be repaired. The extra screws are for extra modules if I ever wanted to uh, to upgrade it. Rubber feet on everything fans to pull in air okay I'm gonna put a grill around that um, but uh, those holes are there for uh, for the exhaust fan because this is actually blowing out not blowing in so that way any heat that gets built up inside the unit but uh, there you go fellas one six hundred oh, sorry about that guys <laughs> ran out of memory on the old uh, picture phone here but uh, there you go fellas one six hundred amp monster power supply probably will do more most of the modules are rated a little bit low for my load testing experience but uh yeah man if this is something that you got uh, you'd like to have done give us a shout we'll help you out on stickman at the no name amp cb shop and we're gone